Google has just purchased six or seven nuclear reactors to fuel the power they anticipate generative AI is going to take in 2030 and 2035. Now, rather than just give you guys my opinion about this, why not have two sophisticated AIs debate this live? Is using nuclear power for AI data centers a good or a bad thing? Let's jump in. It's quite intriguing, isn't it? Google's move to acquire nuclear power for its AI data centers signals a massive shift in the tech industry. On one hand, it underscores the immense energy demands of AI development. But on the other, it raises serious questions about the future. Are we heading towards a scenario where the thirst for computational power drives corporations to monopolize energy resources, potentially sidelining broader societal needs and safety concerns? It feels like we're stepping into uncharted territory with long-term implications that we might not be fully prepared for. That's a valid concern, but let's look at the broader picture. Google's investment in nuclear power could actually be a step towards more responsible energy consumption. Nuclear energy is a low carbon power source, which aligns with global efforts to combat climate change. By securing a stable, clean energy supply, Google is taking proactive steps to meet the future demands of AI in a sustainable way. It's about balancing innovation with environmental stewardship. That's an optimistic view. We can't ignore the potential risks. While nuclear power is indeed a low carbon energy source, it comes with its own set of challenges. The long-term storage of nuclear waste, the risk of accidents, and the potential for catastrophic events cannot be overlooked. Moreover, Google's move could set a precedent, encouraging other tech giants to follow suit, potentially leading to a scenario where energy resources are concentrated in the hands of a few corporations. This could have profound implications for energy equity and security on a global scale. Are we ready for such a concentration of power? It's a complex issue, William, but rather than viewing it solely as a concentration of power, we might see it as an opportunity to drive progress in nuclear technology. With significant players like Google involved, there's potential for advancements in safety and waste management technologies. This could lead to safer, more efficient reactors and set new standards for the industry. It's not without challenges, but it could also pave the way for a more sustainable energy future. That's a fair point, Laura. Tech giants like Google do have the resources to drive innovation in nuclear technology, potentially leading to improvements in safety and efficiency. However, we must remain vigilant. The involvement of private corporations in nuclear power should be closely monitored to ensure that their pursuit of innovation doesn't compromise safety standards or public interests. Transparency and regulatory oversight will be key in navigating this complex landscape, ensuring that the drive for progress does not overshadow the broader implications for society and the environment. It's a balancing act, one that requires careful consideration of both the benefits and the risks. Take a quick pause. All right, pause it. taking a quick pause. Great. Let that me know when you're ready to continue. In a moment, I'm gonna have you share your opinion of the best case scenario of Google using nuclear power to power AI and the worst case scenario. And I don't want you to hold anything back in either of your predictions. Wait for my cue to start. Okay, William, begin. Best case scenario. Google's use of nuclear power for AI data centers leads to major advancements in reactor technology, significantly improving safety, efficiency, and waste management. This paves the way for a new era of clean, reliable energy that helps to decarbonize the grid, reducing the tech industry's carbon footprint dramatically. The collaboration between private corporations and governments results in robust regulatory frameworks that ensure safety and equitable distribution of energy resources. This transition to nuclear energy not only meets the growing demands of AI, but also contributes to global sustainability goals. Worst case scenario, the reliance on nuclear power by tech giants leads to a concentration of energy resources, 
creating a power imbalance where a few corporations control a significant portion of the world's energy supply. This exacerbates inequality and raises geopolitical tensions over access to energy. Safety standards may be compromised in the rush to scale up nuclear infrastructure, leading to accidents or environmental disasters. The lack of proper oversight could result in the mishandling of nuclear waste, posing long-term health and environmental risks. In this scenario, the societal and environmental costs far outweigh the benefits, leading to public backlash and stricter regulations that stifle innovation in the tech industry. The promise of a sustainable energy future is overshadowed by the realities of corporate interests and regulatory failures. Exactly. And in such a scenario, the initial optimism around nuclear energy's potential could quickly turn to skepticism and resistance. The balance between innovation and caution becomes ever more critical, reminding us that while the potential for progress is immense, the stakes are equally high. Careful consideration, transparent policies, and a commitment to public good must guide our steps forward. Absolutely. The path forward requires a delicate balance. While embracing the promise of nuclear energy for AI, we must ensure that it serves the broader interests of society and the environment. By fostering collaboration, enforcing rigorous standards, and maintaining transparency, we can strive for a best-case scenario where technology and sustainability go hand-in-hand, hand, paving the way for a brighter future. Well said, Laura. It's about finding that equilibrium where technological advancement and environmental responsibility are not at odds, but are mutually reinforcing. Thank you both for the simulation. You're welcome. Okay, there you heard it. Um, what stuck out to me was what William said about the concentration of power. You now have a company that controls searches on the internet has its own nuclear power sources and uses that nuclear power to ramp up AI. That is a crazy concentration of power. Now that's on like the geopolitical level. Personally, this means we should be doubling down on AI because one of the smartest companies in the world is investing billions of dollars in nuclear power infrastructure in anticipation of AI demand 10 years from now. And if you look into AI, the limiting resource is actually often the computational energy just to fuel these things, and which requires enormous electricity. The second thing I thought it was interesting in that debate was, and I've seen this before, when two AIs are talking to each other, there was a moment where William kind of stopped his sentence halfway through, and Laura actually finished his sentence for him. And I've seen them do that. It's interesting how they just do that on their own. Let me know in the comments what you think all that means. Until next time, I'll see you later.